Hi guys, this is going to be the start of um, a new series of videos I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to be interviewing people about what their outlook on life is. Um, something that means a lot to me and what people believe. Um, for a long time I've been telling people what they should believe. And now it's very interesting to hear what other people um, are telling me what they believe. It's very interesting also to have conversations about this. Um, so hopefully in the next while I'll be doing a series of videos uh, with different people, different outlooks and what their sort of advice, why they think we're here um, and if they've got any advice on just general life. Um, so I'm going to be inter um, interviewing a man called Jason uh, from Three Valley. He has got his own place here that's full of backpackers. Uh, he's got a lot of activities to do. He's in a beautiful serenic area. Um, a lot of a lot of stuff to do. Um, I'm going to be inter interviewing him or talking to him over by the stream where he actually did meditation this morning. Um, and yeah, without further ado, here is the interview. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, do you want to give us a wee introduction of yourself? <laughs> yeah. So. Um my name's Jason. I currently have two businesses. One's called Three Worlds, and it's a music store and a um, fun. It's called fun, Three Worlds Fun for Life, and we have musical instruments from around the world: ukuleles, didgeridoos, African drums, lots of percussion, and we have circus, circus things as well, like hula hoops, juggling, fire twirling, and then we have like meditation books and crystals and incense and that type of thing. So it's a very fun little shop very eclectic and full of yeah, color and then we have our new business which we just started it's called three worlds valley and it's a retreat place and backpackers and it's set this is where at on location at the moment it's got a creek running through the property there's some big rock pools for swimming there's um, plenty of activities like archery slack lining table tennis drumming we have ukulele lessons last night in the house with all the guests and um, it's all um, drug and alcohol free and it's uh, all vegetarian so it's a very health kind of minded um, people coming along and we have meditation in the morning and yeah it's a very kind of rejuvenating and um, uplifting atmosphere and yeah we've been getting some really good guests coming through and uh, yeah it's very very rewarding. That's nice. Yeah. Mm. Where have you been in the world? Uh, so, when I, as soon as I turned 18, me and my friend jumped in uh, my little Corolla and we went to Western Australia with the $400 each and we made it there with $10 each maybe by the time we got there and we went straight to the beach and found some place to sleep in the along the beach there and we were very young, 18 years old and um, we lived on the beach for three months playing guitar, I was, I was learning guitar at the time and writing poultry and just living under the stars and in the sun and in the ocean. So that was the start of my travelling adventures and since since that time I've travelled all over Australia. I've been to 30 countries around around the world. Done some big adventurous sort of um, style travelling where last year I went to Patagonia, just got on the road and got to the centre of Chile and just started hitchhiking in a country where I didn't know the language, I didn't know where I was going, someone just said there's a, you know, there's good things down that road, so I just got on the road and uh, started hitchhiking and I love the, when you're doing that, you just meet like the best people, somehow you put yourself in like this place where you're really uncomfortable and you're, you're kind of very vulnerable to the world because you've got, you've got nothing, you've got no one, you know, you're in this kind of strange place and people sense that and then the goodness comes out and there was so much support and um, people would take me in and feed me and like house me and you know uh, it was in quite incredible to watch and um, be yeah witness to that sort of love and um, connection that was created through that um, style of traveling and so there was months months in Patagonia it was incredible scenery and um, did the El Camino walk in Spain, that's like an 800 kilometer walk uh, and that was kind of life changing. You're walking for 30 days, every day you get up in the morning you start walking and 
walks after about 10 days the only thing you want to do when you wake up in the morning is walk and you just get out there and you're walking and a lot of the time I was on my own it was quite a sort of meditative experience and um, you know I've been to India and studied meditation there and been to some pretty high places in my mind and in like a sort of state of being uh, that maybe you know it's probably the richest experiences of my life here on earth and yeah just really feeling super connected and really really super clear and they're yeah, quite powerful like you generate a lot of energy through meditating that much and yeah it's sort of life becomes kind of easy really like obstacles come but they're not you know they're, they're no um no match to that sort of power when you have that much energy just to um, stay happy and stay in a, in a nice state of mind so mm. there's definitely a lot of power and I've done the meditation for the last 20 years so it's, it's definitely helped to transform my thinking and probably like appreciation for life really and the love, my love for life and um, yeah the quality mm. of things that happen in my life are really like I feel really really lucky but at the same time, I feel like it's also coming from that constant practice of, you know, generating good energy in meditation and that attracts good people and good things. So mm. I sort of um, yeah, account it to that. So. Mm. Do you have any regrets in life, Jason? Oh, yeah, what are, what's some regrets? <laughs> mm. I think one thing, I did sleep with this girl who had a boyfriend back when I was like 19 <laughs> and that was like... Mm. I played on my mind for like 10 years. I felt mm. really like bad about that. Mm. Um, and after 10 years, I tried like, I reached out to them and contacted the guy. And he, it meant like very little to him, but to me, it was like something that, you know, s stuck in my, um, yeah, stuck with me. Like that was not a good thing to do. Apart from that, no, mm. I think, um, you know, starting traveling so young, leaving school, I actually didn't finish school, which I'm very glad to have done. And especially nowadays, you can learn so much from the internet and YouTube. Man, if you want to learn anything, you can learn pretty much anything on YouTube. So, um, yeah, leaving school young was good. Going traveling young was really good. Preferencing or like prioritizing um, experiences over accumulating things. That's probably one of the best things, best choices that I've made that's continually being made. That accumulating things and, and trying to create an image of success in the world is not so rewarding as it is to travel, to meet new people, to go to new places and really like create experiences because they're the things that you look back on you talk about with your friends you share stories it's not about oh i made this much money or i bought this car that time or mm. you know no one really wants to hear that it's kind of, it's more about the experiences of life that um, make it a rich and rewarding event mm. Mm. it's true why do you believe we're here uh, well i think this world is i don't think we need a reason there's not a, a a why is we're here we're here to experience life it's it's quite incredible when when you get present to the reality of life it is this wondrous playground that we're here we come from we, we don't come from here we're in these physical bodies it's, you know we enter the body we can move these bodies around we can swim we can play music we can you know you know meet with people and eat good food and um, you know, nature is like incredible technology, what we've created here, like you can create things in this world, make things from nothing. Uh, it's, to me, it's like basically this big playground and we're here to enjoy it. Like, um, I don't really subscribe to the idea that we're here to learn and we're here to become enlightened. And I think, you know, we came that way. We may have forgotten that, but it's not the reason we came we came to enjoy and to experience life mm. thanks very much Jason yeah. thank you <laughs> mm.